Hello everyone and welcome back to John Build Iconic Religion Models. Okay, so anybody that's been uh, following my progress on building the victory over the last 15 months probably know that I could, I'm probably at the stage where I could start to copper plate in the hull around about a year ago. And it's always been a case that when I first thought about it, I went on CO on the website for, from the company that I'm obviously building this from and their copper towels are out of stock. So I started looking at some different options and a few other uh, places that sell copper towels. And obviously when I started to uh, obviously quote it and work it out, I kind of thought to myself, this is going to cost you mean, maybe a hundred pound. And at the time, and it was still the time now, I thought I, I didn't want to justify spending a hundred pound on copper tiles. Because it's like I said before, it's, this victory is pretty much a practice build to myself. And when it's finished, I'll, I'll probably give it away and probably give it to a family member. So to spend a hundred pound on a copper plate, I, I just, like I say, not justified. So uh, <clears throat> I've been thinking about it, and about three or four weeks ago, I got a, I've been talking to a guy on my uh, Facebook group, on my Victory Facebook group, and we've been talking a bit. He meant, asked me if, what I was doing about the uh, copper tiles, and I, I said to him, uh, like I say, I probably might not do it. And he, he sent me some pictures, and, and he was chatting, and he sent me uh, some little samples of the uh, the copper the copper tiles. That he's been using, and, and I was like, it was a picture as well. I was really impressed, and I thought, I mean, and when you work out the, the kind of cost for the, just the copper tape, it, it was really, really uh, you know, inexpensive compared to copper sheet. So I thought that's what uh, the way I'd go. So I went online, I looked for some uh, copper tape, I found some off eBay, I ordered some, and I was really disappointed with the, uh, the quality, and that was about two or three weeks ago and what I've really been doing these last couple of weeks is just trying to search and try and find a little bit more uh, better quality copper plate. So yesterday I, I received some and I started uh, you know, I mean, practicing with that and I was quite happy with the results. And like I say, last night I kind of obviously just spent about two or three hours just sat here, obviously a little bit of music on and I made around about 500 copper, copper plates. So I'm going to show you that process now. Okay, so we're getting these uh, these rolls. These came as a, a double roll, and these are six mil wide by uh, 0 0.1 mil thick. And these would be absolutely fine at this uh, this thickness. But what I kind of I found is it's still quite bendy. So what I thought about doing and what I practiced with last night is uh, I kind of doubled up the thickness, and that seemed to just seemed to get a lot better results where it was doubled up. So well, the first thing you're doing is just cutting two lengths. It doesn't have to be a, you know I mean, an exact length. It's just pretty much so you can make these tiles. So now I'm just using an ordinary clipboard. I just want to knock it around. And I use it mainly because I wanted to get this, this, this clamping action, this spring. So I'll put one of the, the first layers of this copper tile in. And then on the other end. Just using a little bit of masking tape and just mask it down, just hold it tight. And like this is probably the, tr the trickiest part of making these copper tiles, and that's actually doubling up the thickness. But I'm just peeling this layer back. And all you have to do now is just carefully overlap the two parts. Just lining up the two edges and just keep peeling off a bit more foil tape. And just work all the way down until you've filled the entire piece. And just keep pulling it straight. And you're probably thinking, well, that looks a little bit of a mess. I'm just taking a, I mean, a flat surface and then just smooth it all the way across. And now you've got an exact copper tile. But it's, instead of being uh, 0 0.1 mil thick, it's now 0 0.2. So it just seems it just stick a little bit better. They're just a little bit more rigid. Okay, so I'm just turning this copper tape upside down, and I've made up a little jig 
I've made it so I can just got a nice straight edge and I've also got individual distances where I can put the first line of rivets on. And this this is all obviously to what scale you're working at. So if you're working different scales, you'd make this jig slightly larger. And I'm just gonna hold it under there. And I'm just gonna feed it into this jig. And I've got some little just little stops on the other side of the copper tape. So that just keeps it in line with this. And I've got this uh, this paunch wheel. I've had it for about uh, well, over a year when I first thought about the, uh, doing the copper tiles. And it's, uh, it's a 716 swivel paunch wheel. And it's really good, but it's, it's not over perfect on the end. It's, there's a little bit of play. I think it could have been engineered a little bit, a little bit nicer to sort that wheel less wobble. But this jig is designed, uh, when you, each one, you kind of put this wheel in between these, uh, these spaces, and you just push forward. And it's giving you the individual spaces for every copper tile that you need. Okay, so when you're happy with that, turn it over. I found that you, you I mean, you, you, the more you try and do it one go, the less accurate you can get. So I found that I normally work around about five tiles with this ruler. So you just pretty much where the first pin is. Where this paunch wheel has scored the first pinhole, you want to line this ruler up right on the edge of these first pins. Then taking this, this wheel up against the, uh, the flat edge of the ruler and then just go across. And then just move across. finish off that section like I say you can make them a little bit shorter you can make them a little bit longer so once you're happy with that you can just unrelease it turn it over and you've got a full line of rivets made on this copper tape and then I just normally cut off pretty much the first couple but it's not very nice just remove that and then you can kind of start cutting it to whatever length you want you can obviously you can work in like lengths of four, or as I like, I prefer to do it. I've just been actually just cutting them. I've just been cutting them left to the first rivet hole, to the left of the uh, the line of rivets. And that just gives me one tile. Now, in the case of a, a few minutes. You've pretty much made up nine copper plates. And like I say, last night when I was, uh, I thought I'd just kind of time myself so I could work out a bit of a time scale how long it's going to take. I could, I could make around about 15, 20 minutes. So yeah, so we're looking about 150 now. I mean, you're not going to do more than one go. You're just going to do them in obviously when you, obviously when you need a few, or just spend an hour every now and again just making them up a few and then working them. And come back and make a few more. So let's bring it back across this bit of cardboard, and this is what I've just been uh, trialing the plates on. Now you, you can just peel off the little foil, locate where you're going to be. And you just tie them along. What I'm going to do is what I'll do when we uh, stop to, to add them to victory. Because I've got a little uh, fiberglass pencil, and once I've put one each one in place, and then I can just go over. And if there's any more creases, and obviously what it'll do is, if you can see, when there's any overlapping, it's really going to push them in as if they've been like pressed. So if you so if you can see that that one there, it like leaves a little bit of a raised panel. Okay, let's add one more. And then 
the same again. I'll just press it into uh, into that. So that's pretty much how it's going to look. And like I say, just a, this is just a test board. But you can just get an indication how it's going to turn up. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this uh, this video. Hope you find it useful. Hope you find it. it's a uh, it's an option for obviously copper tiling for a fraction of the cost of using copper sheet. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you all next time.